Hey guys, so jumping into the tutorial, today we're going to start off with the eyes, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my lids using my Urban Decay Eden Eyeshadow Primer, and I'm just going to blend that in with a flat brush, and then go ahead and set it in place with the Skin Tone Eyeshadow. Okay, for the transition shade today, we're going to be using Cupcake from Makeup Geek, which is this really pretty kind of mauve pink shade and I'm going to apply this to the crease and above it kind of messily. Now for the crease I'm taking Love Letter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's just a darker pink magenta shade and I'm going to buff that into the crease and the outer corner as well. Now I'm going to take this berry shade from my Juva's Place um, eyeshadow palette is a little bit darker than the one we used in the crease, but if you want, um, you could just go ahead and use the same shade. It doesn't matter. Just pack it onto the lid. And then I'm just blending out any harsh lines that we get from the lid. And then just packing on more color until we get the intensity that we want. Okay, now to go ahead and deepen up the outer corner, I'm taking Beauty Mark from Anastasia and I'm going to go ahead and start deepening up the outer corner and pulling it a little bit into the crease but not so much. Now going in with the transition brush and cupcake once again, we're just going to blend everything together. Okay, and now I'm just going back over the lid shade just so we don't lose the intensity of that magenta shade. Now moving on to the face, we'll come back to the eyes later. I'm taking my Becca Backlight Priming Filter and I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with this. And to go ahead and fill in any pores, I'm going to go ahead and take my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer and just put this in my T-zone. Okay, and now for foundation, I'm using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Okay, moving on to contouring, I'm taking my ColourPop contour stick and I'm just going to go ahead and chisel out my cheekbones and also contour my nose. To go ahead and highlight and conceal, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to use that under my eyes and also to highlight the center of my face. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all in using my Beauty Blender. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and with some liquid highlight, I'm taking my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight, and I'm going to highlight the center or the highest points of my face with this. <laughs> 
and I love these drops just because you could still bake and put powder over them and they still show up because they're that intense and they do not move once you place them like where you want them they're just amazing and I'm just blending that in with the same beauty blender For powder today, I'm using my Cody Airspun Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with this, and then I'm also going to bake mostly the center of my face with this as well. Now while that's baking, I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes. So I'm taking Beauty Mark on a flat defining brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the lower lash line. Then taking the same pink shades we used on the top, I'm just using those shades to go ahead and blend out everything on the bottom. And then to go ahead and highlight, I'm taking Giza from my Masquerade palette from Juvet's Place to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and also a little bit under the brows. Okay, and to buff away the bake, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden, just to buff away that baking powder. Okay, now to warm up the face, I'm taking my Becca Backlight, um, or no, Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Capri Coast. And I'm just gonna go ahead and warm up my face with this. And to go ahead and clean everything up, I'm just taking some loose setting powder and cleaning up the contour with a e.l.f. kind of contouring brush. Why that's setting, I'm taking this blush from MAC, it's called Warm Soul, and I'm going to go ahead and use that on my cheeks and the tip of my nose. For highlight today, I'm using Ofra's Blissful Highlight, and I'm just going to pop that on the highest points of my face as well. Okay, to buff away that bake, I'm going to go ahead and first buff away with any loose powder. And then I'm going to take this contouring shade right here and just go ahead and chisel out the cheeks to get rid of that line. And this is a Marc Jacobs contouring shade. And I'm also going to go ahead and contour a little bit of my nose with this. To go ahead and set and lock all those powders in place, I'm taking my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to go ahead and douse my face with this. For lashes, I'm going to go ahead and curl them first and then I'm going to be applying the TARDIS Mascara just a little bit because we are going to be applying some falsies. Before I apply the falsies, I want to go ahead and just draw a little bit of a line just so they have something to lay on. So I'm taking my Maybelline Line Stiletto and just drawing a little line. Then taking these um, Vegas Nate lashes in the shade Glamour, I'm just going to go ahead and pop those on. Okay, and for lips, we're going to be lining them with this Berry Lip Liner first. It's from Ultimate Face. Then for liquid lipstick, I'm using Stila's Chan Attire. Chantilly, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's just this really pretty dark vampy purple lip and that is gonna be it for the makeup look I hope that you guys liked it if you did give it a big thumbs up so I can know to keep doing these videos for you guys And I just wanted to let you know before I leave I love you to the moon and back and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys
<laughs> Did you hear that? What? He said to make her coochie melt. <laughs>